Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Should you learn Angular in 2018? I was reading a couple of articles in the last couple of days from some Angular developers talking about their experiences with the framework. In a nutshell, they were really complaining quite a bit about it. Apparently, it's a, uh, it's a big mess. According to, and it was a pretty in-depth article, I believe it was on Medium, and... Uh, and I've read other smaller pieces talking, complaining about the complexity and the lack of usability in Angular. The major complaints was that the documentation is poor, that the error reporting, the error reporting is really bad, and that uh, it took a long time to make any small changes to Angular-based applications, uh, the recompiling, if you will. So. One of the questions I always get from people, should I learn this? Should I learn that? People know my channel, know my general prognosis is, my general advice is to learn your foundations and then learn whatever frameworks and libraries that make sense given the type of work that you're doing. So you may find yourself at one point learning Angular because you have to. You may find yourself learning React or Vue because you have to, etc., etc., etc. Generally speaking, though, the mood, I put my finger to the nerd air, and the nerds out there are saying, mm, Angular, not so good. And I would be steering away from Angular, although I've never been a big fan of it when I took a look at it. And uh, it continues to uh, live up to or live down to my expectations of the framework. And uh, yes, Google can do wrong sometimes. Google is not always perfect. Uh, remember Google Plus, that's being shut down. So now Angular, I have a feeling based on what I'm reading from people who use it actively, that uh, this thing is not going to be uh, around for much longer as a predominant uh, framework, a go-to framework. I think people are going to be going to uh, React. And for me, based on my quick look at different things out there, I think Vue is probably the best solution. And uh, Angular people, I saw a video as, as well on YouTube, an Angular developer moving over to Vue. She, she just felt that it was a far better framework. Again, when you have very complex frameworks and it becomes uh, difficult to work with them, you're going to see that uh, those frameworks will go away. That's why I'm not a framework teacher, generally speaking. When jQuery was all the rage, as an example, years ago, and uh, well, jQuery is a library, but I was still preaching everybody should learn vanilla JavaScript because libraries come and go. I've seen it over and over again over the last 20 years. And so even now, Bootstrap, even though it's still widely used and something you're probably going to have to learn at least on a basic level at some point, depending on the type of work that you do, once again, Again, I think that's going to fade as well over time as the uh, the more advanced features of CSS3 comes out, Flexbox and Grid, and uh, anything that's native, anything that's native to a particular language uh, will always beat out some sort of framework that sits on top of it. So uh, keep that in mind as a general rule. One of the things I try to do on this channel is to give you the perspective of software development, coding, web design, uh, freelancing, you know, to a certain extent, being an entrepreneur from real world perspective, rather than trying to teach you the hottest framework today or the hottest library today. Why? Because there's 10,000 people that you can go and learn the basics of React or the basics of Vue or the basics of uh, Laravel or whatever Django, whatever frameworks. I'm exaggerating, it's not 10,000, but there's, a, there's enough out there. And once you have your fundamentals, you really don't need tutorials because you just go to the site you know if you want to learn view and you understand your html your css your javascript well you understand http and so on and so forth those fundamentals to learn view you don't really need a course of tutorial and unless you want to you could probably just learn from the docs and away you go so there you go so what i learned react uh, ooh, not react angular in 2018 I'm getting the distinct impression that Angular is slowly, slowly on its way out. Uh, if you're really dying to learn a framework, 
before you actually need to know a framework. But if you're really dying to learn one, I would suggest view JS over others because it seems to have a nice blend of functionality with simplicity. And I'm hearing more and more buzz about it. But again, my larger suggestion to you guys, is concentrate on your fundamentals, do a couple mini projects. That's how I do it anyway. That's how I teach it. And then just get out there and start building real things. And then you're going to pick up technologies. You pick up libraries. You pick up languages. You pick up frameworks on a need to nerd basis. If you follow this basic principle that I outlined, then your life of, the, of a developer, as a developer rather, will be far more productive and far more profitable. And you'll be sending me coffee money in appreciation for saving you a huge amount of headaches in a huge amount of time. All right. I hope you find this vlog useful. And uh, cheers.